We're going to break apart 180 into its prime factors, and I'm going to use the box method for the first one. So I'm going to start with 180, and I'm going to divide by 2, and I end up with 90. I divide by 2 again, which gives me the 45. Divide by 5, that gives me 9, 3, and 3. So my prime factors end up being 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 180. For this one here, we'll use a factor tree. So I'm going to break this up into 2 times. Uh, this looks like 96. 96 can be broken up into 2 times 48. 48 can be broken up into 2 times 24. There's lots of 2's in here, so 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. Okay, so 192 can be rewritten as with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, and that's going to be equal to 192. We can practice our box multiplication here. Our box multiplication, we have 22 times 31, and we can break this up in any way we want. I'm going to just stick with our tens and ones. So 30 plus 1, 20 plus 2. That gives me 30 times 26. We annex the two zeros, so we get 600. 20 times 1, 30 times 2, and 2 times 1. And so we sum this all up, we get 682. 53 times 77, again, I'm going to split this up into tens and ones. So 50 plus 3. So 5 times 7 is 35. We annex the two zeros. 7 times 50 is going to be 350. 7 times, 70 times 3 is 210, and 21. Okay, we're going to sum this all up, so I'm going to end up with, uh, I better write this down, 3,500, 350, 210, and 21. I get 1, 8, add this all up, I get 40. Okay, so this is 10, so I'm going to end up with 40. So we end up with 4,081 as the, the product of that multiplication. With 121 times 34, we can do it any way we want, but I'm going to break this up into 100s. So 100s, I'm going to break this up into 20 and 1. Now I could keep this as 21, but I'm just going to do it with 10s and 1s and 100s. So this becomes 3 times 1 is 3, annex 3 zeros. 3 times 2 is 6, annex 2 zeros. Three 30 times 1, here we get 400. 4 times 20 is 80, and we get 4 ones here. Okay, and then adding this all up, we're going to get 3,000. These two give us 4,000. 4,000. 110, so 4,110 plus the extra 4, so 414, sorry, 4114, 4,114. So lastly, we're going to prime factorize these numbers, and again, we can use our factor tree, so 5 times, uh, in this case, we're going to get 15. 5 times 15 should give us 725. Just going to double check that. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to do 5 times. Okay, so 2014. No, that's right, 15. Uh, no, 5 times. Let's see here. Divide that by 5. We're going to end up with 145. So 5 times 145. Okay.
and then we're going to end up with uh, 145 divided by we're going to do 5 again so we're going to end up with in this case 29 and the nice thing about hitting these the ones that are hard to factor the ones that are hard to factor often involve prime numbers 29 is a prime number so we end up with 5 times 5 times 29 For 1920, I'm going to use our box method. So I'm going to divide by 2. That's going to give me 960. Divide by 2 again, that's going to give me 480. Divide by 2 again, that's going to give me 240. Divide by 2 again, that's going to give me 120. Divide by 2 again, that's going to give me 60. Divide by 2 again, I end up with 30. Divide by 2 again, I end up with 15. Divide by 3, I get 5. So I end up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power 7 times 3 times 5. And that's going to give me the product of 19. Okay, in this case, it's going to give me a product of 725.